Hi, this is Deborah Atkinson, the voice for fitness, and I'm back with one more tri set for your home workout. So you could do this in a gym, but it travels very easily if you've got 8, 10, 12, or 15 pound dumbbells. So in this case, I'm working with a little lighter dumbbell because I'm going to be raising this over my head. So whenever I do overhead shoulder exercise, I'm ultra careful not to stress my shoulders. So I do 10 pounds and that's probably the heaviest I'll go. You might want to do eight. If you know you've got shoulder problems, you may only raise that weight to your shoulder and not take it up. And that's smart. And so do what you need to do. Well, we're going to show something that's a little bit more metabolically active. So that's a warning. You're going to hear me breathing harder. <laughs> so I'm going to give you three exercises. The first of those is I'm going to do a bend over a single leg lunge or squat, bring in the weight down to the floor, then up and then up and over my head. So I'll do about five of those rather than 10 and then do them on the other side as well to show you what it looks like and show you it may not be apparent to you, but maybe it will. I've got a weaker side too. We all do. We're not symmetrical. So again, possibly think about doing a few more repetitions on that weak side to play catch up, play favorites with the weak one that needs it. From there, we're going to go to the floor and do just a body weight exercise. And I say just, this is for a reason. We're in a push up position or top of a push up position in a plank once again, but doing a crossover clock. So we're going to walk to about three and nine o'clock in our clock rather than go all the way around. We'll walk over, walk back, and then come back up to our feet for a little less complex step back to a lunge and up to a knee. And we'll do all the repetitions on one side and then repeat to the other rather than do all five or, or 10 or 15 for the set. I'm just going to demonstrate five for you want you to do all your repetitions if you're doing them at home. So here we go. Starting with one foot down, it's the other hand that is holding the weight. So it's opposite. It's the same way you would swing your arms if you were walking. That single leg goes down. I'm going to touch, keep the weight close to my body and then come up. So I'm watching a focal point and talking is a little bit of a challenge while I'm doing this. So I can tell you one thing's for sure, I am not going to look at the camera. Keep that arm when it's over your head, close to your center. The more you left that arm, drift out to the side and away from your body the greater stress on your shoulder. Our plank pose, my feet here are a little bit wider than a normal plank position would be. So back still flat, shoulders down, got my hands wide, and I'm gonna take them for a walk, crossing over, coming back, crossing over, coming back and then return and open cross and back and cross and again return it and you could certainly take this in a full circle and if you are a glutton for punishment each time you can do a push-up a step back into a lunge so shoulders down weights here not resting Take a step into a knee. And what I want you to notice here is when you come up, really extend and get that squeeze right through your glute when you come up. So consciously, you're going to think about doing that. And I'm going to switch sides. So the working leg is your weight-bearing leg. Check on knee right over the heel. Make sure it's there. Slightly behind it, slightly in front of it is okay, but you should feel no stress on the knee as you do it. Or stop. 
For any more triceps, click here and we'll see you on the other side.